we got like a drop zone ride, we got a Ferris wheel, we got one roller coaster that has a loop, we got the, the water like log ride thing, and then we got the giant pretty much 90 degrees straight down. I'm at Fuji Q Highland. It's a theme park here in Japan. It's about four hours from Tokyo. And the main reason why I wanted to come here is as the title of this indicates, they have a huge two-story haunted horror house. And I wanted to film something like that because around where I live, we don't really have any legit big haunted scary houses around Halloween. Um, we have small ones here and there, but we don't have any legit big ones, at least that I know of. So I was like, I'm in Japan, I wanted to film one kind of scary, spooky, haunted house. But this is not just any ordinary spooky haunted house. This is a two-story hospital, like escape kind of haunted house where you got to escape a two-story like mental asylum that is here. So anyway, it sounds legit, sounds awesome, so let's go check it out. All right guys, this is what I'm looking for. This is the haunted mental asylum escape horror house. Um, it's, like I said, it's a huge haunted horror, it's not really a house, but you know, you know what I mean. It's a haunted house, but it's a, a mental asylum attraction escape kind of thing. Anyway guys, it is pouring down rain right now. And so a lot of the attractions are actually closed. Which is kind of unfortunate, but you know what? It, it's just, it's just the, the, my luck of the draw, I guess. It's not rainy season, so it shouldn't be raining really, but I just have to deal with it. So even on these water rides in the rain, some people still go on them. They just wear those ponchos. <laughs> oh, guys, before I forget, check it out. You know that abandoned UFO coaster I went to? I don't, I don't know if you've seen that video or not. I'll leave a link to it at the end of this one. But they have one here that's active. You don't see them like very often and it's kind of weird looking. Coaster guys, you literally pedal. This is like those uh, kind of water wrap rides. Check out the huge bronze cat statues. That looks amazing. Gosh, Farming does want to go on this. I just, I don't know, I'm tempted, but I'm like, do I want to get soaked? And I don't know how to film it with my camera. My gosh, it looks amazing here. Guys, right outside of this haunted house is a girl hanging to a tree. Please be aware that 
Hello, you guy. Yeah, I think this is like a doctor's office or something. <laughs> Things and jars. That was pretty crazy. The way it worked was I had to go in with another group of three to make it a total of four. Um, I didn't know how to do that, so a random family was next to me. They only had three people, so I joined them, and Ashley only had to pay $20. Um, so we each paid $20 to make it 80 So I thought I had to pay 80 myself, but I guess the way it works is you have to have four people, and you pay 20 each. 
So that worked out. It could have been a lot scarier, if that makes sense. Um, I love the theming. Like, they had tons of, like, actual actors running after us. They had, like, crazy looking, you know, dolls, uh, mannequins dressed up. Um, of course, this was like a mental asylum theme, so there was like half cut up patients, zombie patients, uh, little ring boy, if you saw that. Um, so yeah, it was, it was, it was insane. I, I, I love the theming. Um, I definitely think they could have done it a little bit more scary though, but you know what? It was still a cool thing to be here and, and try it out. Normally, I don't film that fast paced, um, so I apologize if it's really shaky. I don't film like that ever, um, but in a place like this, you can't really film steady. Uh, it's just, it's almost impossible. So keep that in mind. If you're new to my channel, just keep in mind, I don't film shaky videos normally. I usually film slow, steady shots. But either way guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this crazy mental asylum haunted house from Japan. More Abandoned Japan coming up, so stay tuned guys. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. And until next time, don't forget to live, explore, and travel.